Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about a numerical which is based upon the two hinge arch. I have already uploaded the video about the three hinge arch, about the circular and the parabolic, and the link is in the description. You can easily access to those video. And with the before beginning this video, I would like to take you through an overview of the question that what we are going to solve in this question and then we will further solve the question so the question is two hinge arch two hinge, a two hinged parabolic arch has a span of 20 meter means the whole span is 20 meter 15 plus 5 20 meter similarly a rise of 5 meter its crown means the point c is at distance 5 meter from this horizontal line and uh, carries a uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter for a distance of 5 meter means uh, it the two hinge our two hinge arch in this question is loaded with a 20 kN of the point load sorry udl which is for the up to the span 5 meter from the left support a and we are asked to determine the horizontal thrust at each support means we need to calculate the horizontal thrust or horizontal reaction at support a and support b similarly value of bending moment normal thrust and the radial shear at the section of arch 5 meter from the left end means we need to calculate also calculate the value of bending moment at this point as well as the radi normal thrust radial shear which is at distance 5 meter from the left support so without any further delay let's begin the solution of this video so guys beginning with the solution of this numerical we come toward the step one and in step one we will be calculating the reaction at the supports and guys uh, we will be solving this numerical step by step and i will provide you or clear all your concept uh, in each and every step wherever it is required so uh, first step in first step we will be calculating the reaction at the support which is very simple and we have been uh, doing many times in uh, uh, structural analysis one strength of material uh, while uh, calculating the shear force and bending moment diagram of the beams uh, and many other numericals also so that is going to be the very simple step and i hope you know that step and i am going to write it here so what i am going to do here taking moment about a if i take moment about a and the whole span is 20 meter so we can, we are going to write here uh, let the reaction at support b is rb and reaction at support a is r a similarly horizontal reaction at support a is h a and horizontal reaction at support b is h b and if we apply that the sum of uh, uh, fx equals to zero means the h a and h b will be zero so uh, calculating the reaction at the support taking moment about a we will have r b multiply by 20 equals to 20 multiply by 5 multiply by half of the span and 20 is uh, c rb is taking uh, our anti clockwise moment and 20 kN is taking anti clockwise moment so anti sum of anti clockwise moment will be equal to sum of clockwise moment this is the concept for finding the reaction at the support so 20 multiplied by half all uh, this 20 is udl multiplied by point uh, span it gets converted into point load now multiply this by half of the span that is 5 divided by 2 it will get um, give us moment this much portion will give us moment if we multiply with it with half of the span now from here we will calculate the value get the value of rb equals to 12.5 kilo newton similarly moving toward the reaction at support a we will have uh, downward force minus upward force downward force minus upward force and downward force is 20 multiplied by span is 5 so 20 multiplied by 5 minus 12.5 kN then from here we will get uh, VA equals to 87.5 kN now we have successfully calculated the reaction at support A equals to 87.5 kN similarly reaction at support B equals to 12.5 kN now guys uh here comes uh how the two hinge arch is different from the three hinge arch three hinge arch had had three hinges at support a at support b and one at the crown but here in two hinge arch there are only two hinges that is at support a and support b similarly 
considering about the reaction at support A, there are two reactions uh, as it is hinge support, hinge support takes only two reactions that is HA and RA. Similarly, here is also two reactions are uh, two uh, one at RB and another HB. So now uh, the total reaction on this hinge uh, uh, two hinge R is going to be two plus two equals to four. Now see here we have two plus two equals to four. If we discuss about its uh, determinacy, then four minus we have three static equilibrium it will be equals to four. Sorry, on um, subtracting we will get one. That is our redundant reaction. Redundant reaction and this is the static indeterminacy uh, static indeterminacy of the two hinge r is one it means there is one force which we cannot calculate by the uh, equation of a static equilibrium and that is our ha so now for calculating the ha value of the horizontal reaction in case of two hinge r we have to use a condi equation that is uh, h equals to integration of m multiplied by y whole multiply uh, times dx divide whole divide by integration of y square dx and here m is our beam moment suppose what is m see here suppose we are calculating the moment about this point d then what happens here about section d then what happens we will have reaction r a multiply this multiply by this phi meter means the moment uh, our beam moment is that moment which is produced due to the vertical load Rea here at suppose if we are calculating the moment about d on lhs then we have reaction a which is creating the moment which is vertical load and it is creating the moment and 20 kN will be downward but uh, that will also be considered that will also be considered so uh, we here while calculating the beam moment suppose uh, we have we don't have this 20 kN then reaction ra is only act, uh, the vertical load here so beam moment will be ra multiplied by x and if we, it were 20 kN so 20 uh, kN is subtracted means minus 20 multiplied by the span x times half of the span then it will be the beam moment uh, in this condition so now uh, this is the condition this is the equation for calculating the horizontal reaction at uh, horizontal reaction for the two hinge arts and we have some specific formulas which have derived on the basis of this uh, equation which we can directly use while solving the numerical based upon the two hinge arts as per our requirement suppose we have two hinge arts which is of span l and rise h carries a concentrated load w at the crown then we can easily find the value of h equals to 25 by 128 uh, whole multiply by w l upon 2 similarly second is uh, two hinge parabolic arch of span l rise h carries udl of w kilonewton per meter square on the left half of the span and the formula is h equals to w l square by 16 h similarly we have third case that's the that is two hinge parabolic arch of span l and rise h carries udl of w kilonewton per meter square on our entire span you can see the diagram i have provided the formula along with the diagram we have one more condition which will which will prevail here it means if we will use direct that formula directly then we do not need to in integrate the uh, into we need, do not need to uh, use this beam uh, equation and no need to integrate we can directly use that formula and that formula is here so you can see here we have one more fourth case that is we have if we are asked to calculate the horizontal reaction we are calculating the horizontal reaction uh, for the two hinge arch and uh, uh, it, it is carrying udl at some distance from the left support that is at distance a from the left support that is w kilo newton per meter then we can use this formula for calculating the horizontal reaction that is what i am going to do here because this condition is similar to this numerical so uh, our next step is to calculate the horizontal reaction so i am going to use this formula here so we can directly write here we have h equals to w a square upon 16 h l q whole multiplied by 5 l q minus 5 l l a plus 2 a q and uh, here we have see here guys 
we can use here a equals to 5 meter and the whole span is 20 meter so we can directly calculate the value of h and we will get h equals to we have whole span l equals to 20 meter a equals to 5 meter so we will get h equals to 29.492 kilonewton so guys this is our step 2 for calculation of the horizontal reaction and here we get, will get h equals to 31.05 kN. Now let us move toward the step 3 and there we will be calculating the bending moment at distance 5 meter from the support left support A. Similarly normal thrust as well as the radials here. So let us solve them. So guys moving to our step 3 for calculation the bending moment at section D. We need to calculate the bending moment at section D. We, for that we need to the value of Yd. So how to calculate the value of Yd for that this uh, height of the crown will assist us for calculating the value of Yd and uh, here we will be using a equation here for calculating the value that is Yd equals to 4h upon L square multiplied by sorry A times sorry let me write it rewrite here Yd equals to 4 h upon l square multiply by a times 1 minus a now put the value of a each and every term and we will get the answer 4 multiply by h is 5 meter here in the diagram it is clear that h equals to 5 meter that is height of crown and the span is 20 square a is 5 uh, multiply by 1 minus 5 this is not the bracket this is here it will be multiplication a equals to 5 1 minus a so from here we will get value of yd equals to uh, 3.75 meter now we have got the value of yd equals to 3.75 meter now it will assist us to find the value of uh, moment about d now let's further move to our further so guys now let us calculate the moment at d I am going to write here a moment at D equals to MD and we have calculated that the height of this point D is uh, 3.75 meter so here is our point D and now with respect to D we, we need to calculate the moment so if we calculate the moment about D then what we will have here this is a uh, reaction at A is taking clockwise moment and this 20 kN is taking anti-clockwise moment similarly this at A is also taking anti-clockwise moment means uh, RA, our reaction RA will be positive and these two uh, react moment due to these two uh, horizontal reaction and the, this UDL will be negative. So we will write here moment at D equals to uh, 87.5 whole multiplied by 5 minus 20 is our UDL multiplied by span multiplied by half of the span to get moment minus uh, our horizontal reaction value was uh, 31.05 so 31. 0 0.5 multiply by the span we have got 3.75 meter then on solving this we will get the value of the moment at d equals to 71.06 kilonewton meter so as per the question we have calculated till now we have calculated the horizontal thrust as well as bending moment now we need to calculate the uh, normal thrust as well as the radial shear and for that we will need the value of theta that is slope so we have a formula here and uh, let me write down uh, that is new step our so this is our final step step 4 and we will cal in which step we will calculate in the normal reaction as well as the radials here so we have a formula that is theta means uh, uh, we have slope of an arch dy upon dx equals to tan theta equals to 4h by l square times l minus 2x 2x so now at uh, d equals to at d we have x equals to 5 meter so we will have tan theta equals to 4 multiply by 5 divided by 20 square 20 minus 2 multiply by x means our a that is 5 meter because it represents the distance of that point from the support a or left support that is 5 meter so from here we will get the value of uh, tan theta equals to 0 
5 so we will have theta equals to tan inverse 0 0.5 and theta equals to 26 point 26.56 degree now we have got the value of theta so quickly find the value of sine theta we will get value of sine theta equals to 1 by root under 5 sorry uh, we can write it by calculator also similarly so simply put the value of theta and we will get sine sine 26.56 will be equals to 0 0.447 similarly cos theta will be equals to cos 26.56 will be equals to 0 0.894 so now after getting the value of sine theta and cos theta we have the formula for calculating the normal reaction as well as the radials here and uh, we have normal reaction or the normal thrust normal thrust equals to normal thrust is given by h d cos theta minus v d sine theta similarly radial shear radial shear equals to hd sin theta minus vd cos theta put the value we have already got the value hd equals to 31.05 multiply by cos theta is 0 0.894 minus vd our vd is means vd is vertical reaction so guys uh, our vd is uh, similar it will be equal to the support equal to the vertical reaction at support d that is 12.5 kilo newton see here i'm going to make you clear with the diagram here see here we have the reaction at support b this reaction will be up to the support d until the load uh, 20 kilo newton act, starts acting on this uh, arch means the same 20 20 12.5 kilo newton reaction upward reaction will be everywhere up to the point up to the point d here because there is no other extra load here moving either upward or downward on this arch so we will have vd equals to 12.5 kilo newton which is equal to the reaction at support b multiply by sin theta equals to 0 0.447 now on solving this we will get the normal reaction equals to 22.18 kilo newton if you still have confusion that how the value of vd equals to 12.5 kilo newton then uh, you need to revise some of the topics uh, for why, why which we use while drawing the shear force diagram of the beam there then you it will be more easier to understand you uh, but i have tried my best to uh, because here is no any extra load if you have might have if you have studied a little bit of that concept or drawn the shear force diagram then you might have noticed that the reaction or the shear force diagram does not change it remains uniform until another or uh, until there is a uh, change in load either load is added or subtracted so it will be uniform diagram if you draw the shear force diagram then it will be uniform up to the support d so 12.5 kN will be acting at up to the support d so again now put the value here 31.0 5 multiply by sine theta is 0 0.447 minus vd is 12.5 multiply by cos theta is 0 0.894 and from here we will get the radial shear equals to 25.06 kilo newton and this is what we were asked in the question and guys i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself